<clears throat> Alright you guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove your drive shaft. Ignore that the fluid there, it's just a little bit of coolant. But, this is what I'm taking out, as you can see. Um, it's a little dirty, but it's fine. All right, let's get it. Let's get it going. All right. So I'm pretty much gonna get it done with these right here. Just got my 14 on there. It's a little faster. This kind of wedge it in the drive shaft. I'll show you later. 14 deep socket. Break shit loose with that. And 12 and a 14 quick wrench. Let's get it. All right, you guys. So you're going to want to loosen these two bolts here, 14 millimeter, um, and the drive shaft will kind of hang down. Sometimes you may have to remove your exhaust, um, but usually there's, there's room if you're aftermarket. Now there's a cover plate back here that I already took off. <laughs> But it's also six 14 millimeter bolts, and it will show you these guys. Now, these are 12 millimeters, and uh, you should see your wheel spin just by moving it. Look, my wheel spinning. If your wheel doesn't spin, you're in trouble. But anyways, you can spin the drive shaft and take off these four 12 millimeters. As you can see, I'm just rotating it. And this part will just hang off right here. You already got the other two 14s out front. You should be able to take the drive shaft off after that. All right, so do you take all the bolts off? This part right here is going to slide out. Uh, right there. Just going to kind of grab here and pull back this way towards the back of the car. And it'll slide out. You want to have a oil pan ready because fluid's going to fall out of here. And you can either reuse it or add more trans fluid. I like to just put brand new fluid in after um, so keep that handy and reverse order when putting the drive shaft back on obviously you're gonna mount those first then reconnect all these in the back say it took me roughly uh, I don't know 10 15 minutes hardest part was probably climbing out from under the car obviously if you have a lift um, it's gonna make things a lot easier for you but I don't but I've been building Subarus for 10 years with that one and the only hard part is getting on my back every now and then but uh, that's it for this one guys